Hello, my name is Brian and welcome to Overland Calling. This is part five of the Southeast Adventure series. Start things off freezing our butts off with the trail calling not even feet away. But we had to get some work done, pay the bills before we could go out and have fun, meet up with old friends and run Hurricane Creek. Hope you enjoy this episode. This is one of my favorite trails that I've hit so far and it was just amazing at every corner. All right, come on. Oh, there you go. The water is frozen. cold, but I'm going to brave it for morning coffee creekside. <sighs> Zeus had his breakfast, so he's all snuggled up in the blanket. I'm getting ready for work right now. I'm just kind of checking some video footage, transferring stuff over. But this is it. This is the office setup. I know I don't film it very often, but uh, it's not very exciting. I sit here and I answer emails. Every once in a while, I'll take a work call, maybe do a spreadsheet. So that's not the most exciting thing in the world. But this is my reality for the next eight-ish hours. Got my webcam here for a video meeting today, and I am totally putting the stream in the background. All right, time to get to work. See you later, YouTube. All right, it's an exciting day here at camp. This will be my first full day here. Collecting a little solar, but constantly moving it, trying to get what I can. Keep things where Zeus won't knock them over. And here in the kitchen, we're going. Got some nice blackened sausage. Um, you say blackened, it sounds better than burnt. Barely cook on a regular day, let alone work filming myself and cooking. Bon Appetit. Yes, I know I should have a plate, but it's one less thing I have to wash. It is a balmy 35 degrees right now. I am looking forward to crawling in the sack today. Lay out my wooby. I know I call it the wooby, and I always will. It is actually a military poncho liner, and it just does a great job of keeping my mattress nice and clean. Adds a little bit of extra insulation. Now this, haha, -ha, the heated blanket. Let me tell you, I'm thankful I have this thing. Don't get me wrong, I can sleep in just a sleeping bag, but man, does this make it toasty warm. Plug her in and turn on warmth and happiness. So last night I clipped it up to 100, heating up, and I fell asleep with it like that. I woke up just sweating and it was 27 degrees. So this bad boy works awesome. Then I can push it again and it sets the time. Zeus has got his poncho liner there. The Zeus Whoopi. There's another couple hidden tricks. I'm car camping, not backpacking. I've got a regular old pillow. And whenever you're sleeping, make sure you got a headboard. Something to keep your pillow from sliding off. Ah, uh, yeah. Toasty warm. Sleep well. See you in the morning. It's freezing, so I'm gonna cheat. By freezing, I mean literally freezing. It's like 32 and a half degrees. So I'm gonna start the car and uh, 
get some power to my battery and a lot of heat in my body. So I made this homemade water pump. Basically just ordered the pump off Amazon, drilled a hole. There's a video on it if you want to do it. But I figured I'd show you how I do my water setup. So I use this for all my regular dispensing. And then for filtering, I've got a Lifesaver jerry can here. Get the hose out, take off the spray nozzle, pump it up. And then use this to fill up my can. Gets my filtered water in there. It holds an extra five gallons. So it gives me good capacity. And this is a two and a half gallon, I think. So anyway, I figured I'd share real quick in case anybody else is looking for any water storage slash filtration items. Anyway, that's how I do it. How do you do it? I'd like to hear. Disengaged my awning to leave here at the campsite. Slid it out from my mount. We're going to leave this because we're coming back here tonight. Because, I mean, honestly, it's pretty dang beautiful. But I'm going to go run Hurricane Creek real quick. I'm camped, like, just right off this stream crossing. And I have been dying to cross this thing. Finally, we're gonna get a chance. Let's see if I can get you a good view. My buddy Matt finally made it in his new to him Jeep, and it's time to hit the trails. Camping by a creek is absolutely wonderful, but there's nothing quite as satisfying as driving through one. Look at that, just beautiful. The first water crossing. It's time to watch Matt. Finally have somebody behind us. Got to come up with a nickname for him. Just got his Jeep and doesn't have one yet. I don't know, I was thinking maybe pop a smurf. Yeah, I don't know. It's cold. But tell you what, I mean it's hard to go wrong with this thing. I mean check that out. Too easy, too easy. It looks rough though. All right, sometimes the hard stuff looks easy and the easy stuff looks hard. Let's see how we're working here. And, oh man, I love the flex on this lift.
Oh, that's tricky right there. <laughs> I'm too lazy to get out and shoot. <laughs> this is a fun trail. That's all I gotta say. If you're in the area, I would recommend it. Camp spots are amazing. So far, the trail's not super hard, but I mean, you're paying attention. You're not driving on the dirt road, that's for sure. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful spot here. I heard about this one on the internet. It's a stream crossing into, well, stream crossing with a campsite right next to it. I don't know, this one might be a little bit better than the campsite I've been at. It's a little more level. There's a lot more sun for solar. Digging this fire pit. Streamside view, that's for sure. Man. Sucker is dug out. That's one really deep hole. Well, sort of worked. I made it across. Gonna go with the hole. Oh. oh, look at that. So that section right there has got a nice diff checker at rock. I'm gonna take it wide, try and keep my tires on it. Definitely puts you at an odd angle, though, that's for sure. And just kind of creep on through here. Just another pretty little stream crossing. Perfect. This is a place where a spotter would come in super handy. All right, let's creep it. Little 
scraping and grinding, but that's all right. Lots of fun. Man, I'm telling you, it's like fun every five seconds here. Maybe a little fear. Where are we at? We're at 17 degrees. That's a little off camera. But that's okay. That was off camber away from the steep side of a mountain. So I'll take it. While we cruise down the trail, how about this? Who's driving a stick shift? Good old manual, millennial proof car. How many people got one of those that they wheel in? I would definitely say it's harder. I mean, if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen me lose to the clutch. So where were we? Stick shift versus automatic. I bought a stick because it was a Jeep. My first Jeep was a stick shift and I considered real Jeep owners to be stick shift. I don't know that I'm in that same place. I'm not quite certain that I will actually get a stick shift again. It is super hard for mega slow speed control. I've been doing a lot of off-roading and I'll tell you what, right now, I still have a hard time with it. I'm still on the fence if my next Jeep will be a stick shift or an automatic. Or maybe I'll just tap this one forever, and every time something breaks, I'll just mod it and build it up more. All right, Zeus, what do you think of Hurricane Creek? Is it a good trail? Is it Zeus approved? I think it was a good one. We are back on the gravel road. Wah, wah. Hurricane Creek complete. Man. Awesome trail. Right, buddy? Tons of fun. Tight. Nothing super crazy, but you're paying attention the entire way. So, if you're in the area and you got a rig that, I mean, like a, a stock Jeep can probably do it. I don't know about a stock Gladiator without maybe causing a little bit of damage. There's nothing super crazy, but there's some spots where you're going to be bottoming out and stuff like that. Stock Jeep can probably do it because they've got that wonderful short wheelbase. It's nice. Highly recommend it. Super scenic trail. Pretty the entire way. Tons of little water crossings. Running along the stream in sections. I mean, it's awesome. If you're passing by, it's worth pulling off the interstate, that's for sure. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And notifications if you want to. I usually release every Friday. Till next time, enjoy the ride.